Hello everybody and welcome back to, not Baldur's Gate, Mass Effect 3. It doesn't help that it's Baldur's Gate 3 and Mass Effect 3, right? Um, but yeah, I'm just really hoping that my recording is work. Because they have, they, there was that those two mess ups that happened and now, uh, hopefully they're working. Anyway, this is a tangent. I've been reading for days. I should be playing more video games while I'm out with an injury. Uh, but I've just been reading like a maniac. It's actually been crazy. Um, and you know, I can't force myself to play a game when I'm thinking about a book and vice versa. <laughs> I can't force myself to read a book when I'm playing a game or when I really want to play a game. But Anyway, from what I remember, we have a little bit of the second part of the Leviathan DLC to do. So that is what I'm aiming for here. And then I'll actually probably just have us run around. Oh my gosh. So loud. I need to turn my volume down. Holy moly. I don't know what it is, but Baldur's Gate, I like have to like mess with the volume on my computer. But like, oh my gosh, that was loud. Some, for some reason, Mass Effect is louder than Baldur's Gate. Alright, let's go pew pew doc. The pew 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 at Dr. Bryson's lap. Are we gonna get shot yet? I, I feel like we're gonna get shot at some point. Like, I, I have a feeling that happens. But I get shot at a lot, so... There's she, not, but not her, but she's beautiful too. But there's she. Oh, yeah. Hello? Man, here. Oh my god, Shepard. She's obviously crying and she's like, hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. And? Yeah, be a bit more considerate. Oh, Commander. Yes, I'm sorry. Just. This is hard. What do you mean? How are you doing? She's not doing well, obviously. Of course. You alright? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. S so stupid. Yeah. Well, it's just... It's one of those big regrets that you have, right? When you say something inconsequential, or like you do something and you're like, oh, I'll have time to say I'm sorry, and then you don't, you know? So, yeah. That's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again? He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same uh -huh. way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories he nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Yeah, well, a bunch of stuff got deleted. And, you sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. Knowledge! He kept... He, he taught her to seek, uh, maybe see the darkness as just the unknown, the unknown, right? And that uh, you f figuring stuff out, right? It brings light to that darkness, right? Every little bit of knowledge. 
Are you get, should I look at something else? I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. Shielded with what? Now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. Like, so they keep saying we gotta shield the artifact and shield the Reaper thing. Listen here, Bucka, if we had shielding, could we, like, put it up on the Citadel? Could we get, like, mini ones to put on people? Like, this is a new thing in Mass Effect 3 that's never really talked about much, is that apparently we have shielding for Reaper influences, and it's like, I feel like we should, like, how? Like, the whole point is that it was, like, impossible to shield against, right? That it's like, and may maybe that's what ends up happening here, right? Is that we, I can't remember, but, like, maybe we think we're shielded and we're actually not <laughs> you know maybe it's just the illusion of peace and it's it's not that uh, so that's what my money's on also why is Edie wearing her cool outfit why is she running around naked she was wearing she was wearing her cool outfit last time she was here now she's running around in her naked form oh Edie. have you studied the rachna I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now it might actually help us understand the world. Rough. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement. That sounds like <laughs> telepathy to me. <laughs> must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate. That's basically telepathy. Uses the artifact to establish a connection and then it controls the mind of anyone this, near it. I what? We have magical shielding that we don't talk about or put on any of our ships or anything. What are you doing here? And we're pretending that telepathy isn't it. real. It Why are you here? <laughs> Why is James here? Edie makes sense. Why is James here? What brings you down here, James? Heard you're closing in on the Reaper killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has to be worth a I'm look. I'm going to get attacked, aren't I? That's what I'm hoping. Also, like, I didn't give you permission to be here. Don't touch it. It's gonna bite. It's looking at him now. Look at it. <laughs> Commander, you see this thing? This is great. No, it, no. Look, don't. No. Oh, God, don't. Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna get attacked because now I have two com 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 comrades with me. I don't know what I was trying to say. Commandos? I have two com Well, kind of. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Oh, okay. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something... Yeah, to okay, we've got some daddy issues. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes, but this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. Uh-huh. And that can be traced. Telepathy. Right. Just like at the dig site, the Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs, but he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God, he'd have hated dying here. Well, this is just hor just horrifying, you know, and just sad and... Yeah, she's got some things she needs to work through. And this is maybe it, like walking through like the, the last steps or like the work of your, you know, the whoever is gone that you loved or had a complicated relationship with. I could see this being somewhat therapeutic in some ways, you know? But uh, also like very, very painful, kind of digging at old wounds, you know? And I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us. It was very intimidating. I don't think there's anything more I can tell you, but maybe I can show you. Don't do it. What do you Don't saying? do it. The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling Don't do it. it. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. Nope. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. What? 
You said I'm your last chance to I'm find the commander! Thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. I guess she you're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my She's father. She's not under my command. We still don't know what we're looking Technically. for. Technically. Then let's find out. She's putting us all at risk by putting this Commander, magic shielding. this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. Friggin'. We're putting all of ourselves at risk by doing this if we lower the shielding, you know? We've all been exposed already. Anyway. I mean, it's one of those things, though, right? Where it's like, we have no other leads at this point. Like, even if I'm a good person, it's like, I, we kind of need it, you know? You sure about this? Yes. I'm oh, sure. so James is here. I'm going to be right here. To <laughs> okay. I'm to ready. grab her whenever she goes. James, drop the container so. shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. I feel like we should have a code for that. Anything? Not a button. Nothing yet. Wait. <laughs> There's something. <laughs> a feel of chill. Edie, no trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. No. <laughs> Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you, and the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. <laughs> so are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Do it. We can get, uh, we can figure it out from, you know. Man. Context clues going forward. I, I, I'm not concerned about it. Anne. Anne, are you all right? Yes. I think so. Did we get anything? Yes. But it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. Good. To start. Commander, I sent something else. Anger. Yeah. It knows we're getting close. Mm -hmm. I think it wants to kill yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Let's get you. Gotta some get help. in line. <laughs> Sorry, I'm drinking a soda at the same time as all this. Get in line. <laughs> Okay, where are we at on the journal? Scan locations. All right, we won't probably do that yet. I think that's part three. Shot? Shot? Oh, wait, I mean, is there, let's, let, let's see if, where, where is, oh, we, we, we got, oh, I cannot talk. We went to get her help, or I think James took her to go get a doctor. Uh, the doctors are all like, I don't know what you expect us to do with people who are the victims of mind control. To be fair, I don't think necessarily... <laughs> telepathy, I do think we could call it the rack. Not do telepathy because they're like, natural quantum entanglement. Okay. <laughs> natural long-range mental communication. Okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but uh, I guess quantum entanglement isn't necessarily mental, but they use it in their brains. And out loud. So... I think we do. We have many things, many, many things to drop off. We're not shot. So I'm going to drive around, drive around, walk around. Drop off some things. Unfortunately, this whole episode will be labeled Leviathan, but <laughs> not all of it's going to be Leviathan. Okay, yeah, I just checked, and hopefully I edited that out. But we are on the third part of the Leviathan, technically, and we're going to save that until after Thessia. And I think this is a good point, technically. Like, it feels like it, right? Because it's like, ooh, it's going to take us a while to, like, actually get these locations figured out, you know? Which, technically, I should be going to do them, but it's like, okay, we got to, like, extrapolate data. That's how I'm going to put it in my head, anyway. Do, do, do. 
have anything that I want. At Canala Exports, we believe that a piece of ah. art is a strong heart. We appreciate your visit. Hello, you? I have something for you? I recovered the book Yay. of books. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. Pretty sure. You may help my people remember this. I mean, I hope so. It, even if only for their own sakes, right? Like, um, but I believe the guards hanging around are pretty new since the shenanigans went down. Scientist? I think I know which project you mean. And I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for the your galaxy's help. worst kept secret. Anyway, I don't even remember half of where these people are and like what quests I have, but like all I know is I gotta like look at people and get close enough to sense their <laughs> their intent. I think something No, not up here. I know we have a couple quests that happen when uh like that are triggered by outside sources, but not by us being in here. But I'm just gonna double check. Hello? Oh I got your message no! Is this about your I didn't realize. Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I did me. not expect you to be here. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we don't have to start Miranda's quest yet, but... I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. Sure, Miranda, it's good. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I'm smart. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. <laughs> Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete... I actually no. wasn't. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the mm, power. That's, uh, that's actually really interesting. This is what's been bothering yeah. you? <laughs> Shepard, it's, yes. it's a pretty big deal. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of I'm it. I'm very magnanimous. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Magic. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. I'm glad you can get it off. You know what I mean? She needs to get it off her chest. Even if it's not necessarily for me, it's like she needed to get it off. Maybe if I didn't even forgive her, potentially, you know? But, like, now that it's out there that she regretted it, she's going to feel a little better. And that's good. I'm happy for her. Um, but, yeah, like, when you think about it, yeah, she's, like, she's always fought against this control, and then she's, like... But I get it, she, because she wants to have control in her life and in her immediate vicinity, right? Because, like, I don't know, it's almost like pushing out that desire to have control on her and so to her power is having control I don't, i'm not saying it very well but it's like in order for her to be safe she has to be able to control what's around her and herself um and it's actually one of the reasons i've actually always liked miranda is kind of that she's not a femme fatale uh she's very cold she's like ice queen you know but like she never like 
uses her body to like tempt you or anything. She's super straightforward, deadpan, like she says that she uses her looks to get her way and I think she like there's like that subconscious thing where like pretty people sometimes like have like things handed to them on a silver platter not that they always want that but like you know what I mean so oh, that's a whole other thing but like she knows that she has privileges just by being pretty but she never like tried to like seduce you like it, even as a male shepherd or anything you know like she was just very straightforward and like very uh capable and i don't know i always like that even if even if the camera tried to sexualize her i always liked that miranda was just the stone cold you know witch i guess and uh did whatever needed to be done without being like Ooh, look at my boobies you know <laughs> i don't know you can't keep beating yourself up over the i mean past. you can but i usually don't but this was important now you're good some things you just don't have control over. <laughs> Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. Shepard's like, it's no, okay, buddy. Buddy old pal. Okay. I'm sorry. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. <laughs> of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. She really... Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. She should tell me things. I have proven myself trustworthy, and she'll tell me eventually. But, like, I don't see why she can't tell me now. I know, she's like, oh, I gotta keep all the details on lock. And I'm like, what do you think I'm gonna do? Who do you think I'm gonna tell? But I get it. She's cautious. She's super, super cautious. And with that, we'll go ahead and call it there. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my quinter patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Kalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel, and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.